What is up guys, EJ here, aka Puckbond007, and welcome to the Movie Reviewers 100, uh, this great collaboration channel on YouTube and Facebook that I'm proud to be a part of. Uh, so this week is uh, Kevin Bacon week. Uh, Kevin Bacon, a great actor of course, uh, been doing great stuff since the uh, late 70s, early 80s, uh, has a uh, very... Uh, diverse uh, resume and very versatile um, what other actor can you think of that has a his own game uh, named after him um, yeah usually uh, he tends to appear in a lot of supporting roles but uh, for this week I really wanted to pick a film where he's sort of the lead and the uh, standout character and I had to revisit a film I really enjoy from 1999 a great year for movies, one of the great sort of uh, genre movies of that year. The other great ghost movie of 1999, and that is uh, Stir of Echoes, uh, written and directed by uh, David Cope. Um, now, David Cope, Cop, uh, has uh, been around in Hollywood for a while now. Um, as far as directing goes, he uh, went on to direct uh, Secret Window with uh, Johnny Depp. Um, um, he also did Ghost Town with uh, Greg Kinnear, which is a really underrated comedy, actually. Uh, recently, he did uh, Premium Rush uh, with uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, fun movie about uh, bike messengers in New York. And um, But he's done a lot of writing as well in Hollywood. Like some of the films he's worked on, uh, like Toy Soldiers, Death Becomes Her, Jurassic Park, Carlito's Way, um, Mission Impossible, the first one. Uh, the uh, Lost World U.S. Part, the sequel, uh, Snake Eyes, uh, Panic Room, the first Spider-Man film, um, War of the Worlds, yeah, he's worked with Steven Spielberg a few times, uh, Zethura he did, um, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, uh, whether you like that movie or not, um, Angels and Demons, the, uh, the uh, Tom Hanks uh, sequel to... Uh, the Da Vinci Code, uh, Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit, which I haven't seen yet. Um, he worked on that film. Um, so yeah, he's done a lot of writing in Hollywood. Uh, he's even, uh, looks like he's announced to do Snow White and the Huntsman 2. I didn't even know there was going to be a sequel for that film, but uh, he's listed on his IMDb page as uh, he's going to be uh, writing the screenplay or co-writing that. So yeah, he's a really good writer, and this is a really well-written film. Uh, Stir of Echoes. Uh, Kevin Bacon uh, plays the title character, uh, which I forgot what his name is at the moment. Uh, let me just go back to the uh, the actual page of the uh, the movie. Yeah, he plays uh, Tom Witzke, um, basically a working class guy living in Chicago uh, in a sort of small uh, Chicago neighborhood uh, with his uh, wife and a young son. They're just an ordinary working class family and uh, trying to make it. And um, he's married to a girl called uh, Maggie, who's played by Catherine Irby. I'm not really familiar with her. She probably did lots of work uh, during this time. I sort of recognize the face. She's sort of a uh, decent looking girl with like short, dark hair. Um, and they have a son called uh, Jake, uh, played by Zachary uh, David Cope. Um, and. Uh, but my, uh, probably my favorite uh, performance in this film and the standout performance for me, it's the performance I've always liked uh, whenever I see this film and see this actress, is uh, Ileana Douglas. She plays uh, Maggie's sister, uh, Kevin Bacon's sister-in-law. And, and the two of them don't really get along. And at the beginning of the film, that's what we see, uh, them sort of uh, fighting. And, and one night, um, Kevin Bacon and his wife go to this uh, sort of party. This this neighbor seems to know everybody knows each other. It's a very friendly neighborhood. Uh, they're always having like barbecues and block parties. And one night at this party, uh, she's sort of this uh, medium. She's all into uh, sort of the uh, the paranormal type of stuff. And uh, Kevin Bacon like, why don't you uh, hypnotize me and uh, see what happens? And he sort of begs uh, Ileana Douglas to uh, hypnotize him. And she does, uh, and he really goes in deep. Uh, the hypnotism scene is actually really good because it's uh, visualized on screen uh, how he tells him to uh, sort of close his eyes and imagine he's sitting alone in this movie theater, this old 
sort of old movie palace movie theater that's all like pitch black and uh, as she's ex describing the movie theater saying the chairs are black and then you see the paint of, on the chairs change and the walls change black and then on the uh, all he can see during the sequence is like a white the white screen and some uh, some um, sort of faded letters and then he moves closer to the letters and then they pop into focus and it says sleep and that's when he falls asleep of course uh, because he's being hypnotized uh, so while he's under we don't really see what happens while he's under it, there's some time passes and then he wakes up and he's sort of sweating and in shock we see sort of some scary like visions and stuff um, basically what, what he finds out is that he's one of the 8% who sort of really go into uh, sort of this deep trance like state um, there's only like 8% of the population uh, when hypnotized can really go this deep most people can resist it but they can fall asleep a little bit uh, but he's one of the 8% who really sort of go deep and that's what Ileana Douglas tells him um, so yeah he goes back home with his wife and his son uh, their son is also um, uh, quote a receiver that's what Kevin Bacon becomes in this film he becomes a receiver uh, for sort of uh, the paranormal world um, and to go beyond <laughs> that is, uh, describing the plot would really sort of give uh, give too much away I mean if you've seen this film you know what I'm talking about because uh, there's some really great surprises along the way uh, it's a really good performance by Kevin Bacon as he deals with all these visions and seeing things um, uh, yeah, it's really good. And then he starts digging in the backyard when he's like digging the hell out of his his house and uh, um, drinking tons of OJ. There's a scene where the wife opens up the fridge and there's like all this uh, all these cartons of orange juice in the fridge. Um, when I posted that I watched this on Facebook, uh, one of my friends uh, put down a great moment where he uh, kicks the bucket outside um, and it breaks the window. Um, I didn't know that was that wasn't a, a scripted. And uh, Kevin Bacon just kept on going with the scene. Uh, that's a really sort of cool moment where he kicks the bucket and it breaks the window. Um, yeah, it's got a good supporting cast. There's a guy uh, who plays like uh, the father of the uh, the star football player, um, who, whose son is like a running back. Um, he's a really recognizable actor. He's been in uh, lots of stuff that I can think of, or that I can't think of. You'd recognize him if you saw him. I don't know his name. But yeah, Kevin Bacon's really good. Uh, Ileana Douglas, who who I really like in this film, she's really good. Uh, it's got the creepy son. This is sort of like when rewatching this again last night, it sort of led me to think this is the sort of one of those type of films that led to all these bloody paranormal activities, insidious, all these films that we've had over the past few years about sort of creepy kids, these sort of benign, these banal ghost story horror films that we get like two or three of them a year now uh, but this one really stood out it stood out when I first saw it uh, back in 99 along with the sixth sense of course um, the uh, the really popular film of that year one of my favorites of that year um, I think the sixth sense is a great film and a little bit better um, just because of the pacing and the surprises and the performances uh, but this is a really good film as well um, it's, it's a quick movie it's it moves fast uh, Kevin Bacon really sort of owns this film it's his movie um, yeah the creepy kid uh, Ileana Douglas a great performance by her um, a really cool situation and the ending is great in this movie uh, there's a great uh, scene towards the end where some surprises happen um, yeah Stir of Echoes a uh, really good ghost story film uh, from 1999 uh, starring Kevin Bacon so uh, make sure you check it out if you haven't seen it um, so yeah, that is my uh, review for uh, Kevin Bacon week. Uh, good week this week. Very uh, very cool actor. Um, yeah, uh, Kevin Bacon, just just a really good guy and a good actor. Uh, so look forward to uh, the other videos from the guys this week. Thank you for watching as always, and until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.